All right, here we go. We'll talk a little bit about the do-it-yourself flat lap project. I'm gonna talk relatively fast because uh, I'm one of them people who don't have an SD card in their phone. So, so decided I was gonna build one because I was too cheap to buy one. I uh, did some looking online, saw some that were pretty well built, looked like they'd work. Saw some that were pretty darn scary, out of balance. Um, you know, throwing parts everywhere, shaking like crazy. You know, wouldn't do a good true job of polishing anything maybe other than your fingernails. So I decided to go with something different. Um, started with the good base there. I had this table left over from another project, an old lathe, threw some legs on or threw some uh, casters on her. I picked up at Surplus Center at Lincoln, Nebraska. Um, first idea, first idea was probably the better of the two ideas. This was my original idea here. Uh, motor, pulley driven, divorce drive, driving over to a lawnmower uh, deck spindle. Uh, this would have gave me, you know, ability to adjust RPMs, you know, either through changing pulley size or through some variable pitch pulleys like you got there. Uh, the one hang up I had was all the spindles I have are all 5.8 diameter. Um, probably could have turned it down in the lathe, re-threaded it to half inch, would have took too much time. I know they make half inch ones. I've had them in the past, just didn't have one. So I just put this option on the back burner. Second option came up with was a direct drive unit. So these motors, um, I got several of them here. Little Montgomery Ward's motors, third horse. Uh, picked all these up at an auction. I think I gave like seven bucks for half a dozen of them. You know, basically they were going for scrap. Most of them worked. So what I did end up using down here in the dark, this is a third horse Montgomery Ward's twin shaft. Uh, probably used for like a small buffer or something like that. A uh, good solid mount. Built the mount out of 3 h plate. Drilled her out. Got the motor bolted up tight. Got my catch bucket under there hanging from a hanger. That catches all my water. So I can just take that out and dump it. Pan, just a rubber cattle pan. I had this left over from my cows. I think I may even fed my dog in it at one time. Um, I think it's probably 20 years old. They never wear out. Possibility I might've went with the taller one. Uh, it does throw a little bit of mist when you're running water on it, but that time will tell. I may convert it over. I've got some taller ones. Uh, the drain. Drain is nothing but a bathroom sink drain. Uh, took out the provision for the stopper, just filled the hole in with some silicone, took it out, put that down through, tightened her up. Uh, flange here in the center. This is just like a uh, arm rail flange for a set of steps, it's three quarter inch. I don't know what they cost. I had this one here in the bin, just decided you know, that worked as good as anything to keep the water from working down around the motor. Um, it's got a little extra water in here because I just drained the, drained the tank down because I was getting ready to go in for the night but normally there's not even any water here. The centrifugal force keeps it to the outside. Uh, only two pieces I bought, or three pieces I bought. Um, this here is a, I wish I'd taken some pictures of it, I didn't. It's a half inch arbor, uh, meant for converting a motor over to like a buffing wheel, so it's got a half inch female on one side with a couple of set screws, um, half inch arbor thread on the other side. Uh, put that on, I was surprised, it was relatively true. Um, I checked her out with a, with a dial indicator and it run relatively true, so I was just happy with that. Um, it did come with these washers, uh, concave, convex, conical, whatever you want to call them. Uh, no, they wouldn't run true at all. I tried several different ways of getting them to true up. So I gave up on that idea and just went to a plain old half inch fender washer. Uh, second purchase I bought was a half inch aluminum master lap. I did have the aluminum here at the house and I thought about turning one on the lathe and but I got to figuring out that I'm heck, I'm gonna spend a half a day turning that out and truing it up. Just easy, I bought that for 50 bucks off eBay. Done deal, didn't have to worry about it. Saved me a lot of heartache and time and money. Uh, the, the diamond disc, I did, did purchase that. I don't remember what I gave for that. Bought that a while back. So I bought some other other uh, grits for but for right now i've just got a 150 in there i did use the conical washer for the top hold your on with the bolt works good so for my water receptacle the water receptacle i made that out of a confined space gas monitor um what do you call it calibration gas so it looks just like that when she started out they make them in stainless and aluminum uh, you can get, they throw them away when they're done with them. You can get this at probably your local fire station or any heavy industry that does confined space entry and, you know, has their own monitors. This calibration gas, you know, they blow through it pretty quick and just pitch the bottles. So this one, I chucked her up in the lathe, turned the bottom off of it, turned it into a cap. You could do the same thing with a bandsaw or hacksaw, just saw the bottom off of it. Got her held on with a piece of punch iron there like you'd attach, you know, your garage door with. Easy to pick up the local lumberyard. Uh, the bottom. 
The uh, end of the bottle was an oddball thread. I just tapped her out to NPT, stuck me in a three quarter inch reducer, took her down to eighth inch, already had the valve and everything laying on the shelf. Got me a little piece of rubber hose there, just a piece of fuel line. Uh, one thing I probably would have done different, you see where my switch is mounted, that was a stupid mistake on my part because it's not ground fault and it does throw a little bit of mist out and it'd probably be dangerous in the long run, so I'll get that changed. Um, tried her out just a little bit ago for her first run and I'm totally happy with the results. You know, did a couple of rough agates there. This is just with 150 grit. Uh, they were turning out pretty nice. That one there, looking good. I mean, I'd, I'd take that all day long. Especially you didn't pay no $500 for it. So if you've got any questions or comments, be sure and leave them. And thank you all. You have a good one.